Hi, this is Dave from Unplugged Woodworking, and I've just sharpened my number four iron, and I thought I'd show you how I set the thing up. Now, this isn't a tune up; this is just me setting the plane up after I've sharpened it. So, the first thing is to put the chip breaker on the iron. So, is what I like to do. I like to put it 90 degrees, and I like to slot the screw through I like to slide it down and turn it so by doing this you're actually not going to have the this portion the chip breaker um, touch the sharp edge you've just sharpened because metal or steel on steel doesn't really go well together so I'm going to slide it up and there's a lot of debate about this of how far you should be away from the edge but I mean I normally go somewhere in the region of maybe one millimeter so I'm just tightening it up um, just finger tight and I get it lined up so I'm not actually happy with that I'm gonna shove it up a little bit more oh. So I'm going to see the I'm pretty good there. And that's typically what I'll shoot for. Do, obviously, don't measure this. This is just you know just by eye. So another thing, when I am actually doing this, I try to make the edge of the chip breaker parallel with the sharp edge. Um, when you sharpen, if you sharpen freehand, you will find you will actually sharpen it out of square, or at least I do. Over time, it will become out of square. So, obviously, this has to be corrected in time. But if you if you do find yourself you are slightly out of square, you know, don't stress too much about it. Just make sure that the that these two edges, the chip, the edge of the chip breaker and the edge of your iron, are parallel. Um, whereas down here you might see the, the, the slightly out which mine is here just ever so slightly maybe 0.5 of a, a millimeter so once I've got that where I want it I am just going to short a uh, tightness rather with a screwdriver and this is just a strop obviously I've just shortened the thing so the strop's handy there's what I like to do I like to just get it off the um, off the bench so this is the lateral adjustment I'm just going to center that and this is the blade advancement um, adjustment so I'm just going to pull this back a little bit okay so now I'm going to put the um, the blade in so when you put the blade in obviously you want to be uh, careful you don't touch any of the off the sides and if you're a, like real 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 beginner and I have seen someone do this um, you want to make sure that the blade is facing down and the chip breaker is facing up not the other way around here yeah, I have actually seen someone do this so I'm gonna put it in nice and gently now I'm just gonna put the iron cap on So once I've done that, I'm gonna I'm gonna feel for the blade with my thumb. Now, some people like to to sight down here. Um, my eyes aren't great, and I find this difficult. So I like to use my thumb, and you shouldn't be, you shouldn't be able to feel anything at the moment. So the little adjuster here, I'm going to adjust it, advance the blade. And I'm going to run my thumb over the mouth and I still kind of feel anything so a little more so I'm just starting to feel a little bit here so I can't really feel a great deal on this side which tells us that the blade is protruding more on this side so with the lateral, the lateral adjustment I want to be pushing the lateral adjustment 
this way because this side of the blade is protruding more. If this side of the blade was protruding more, I would want to push the lateral adjustment this way. So I'm going to ever so slightly adjust it. So that doesn't feel too bad. I'm going to advance the blade a little more. And a little bit more. So that feels pretty good to me. That's just going to be as close as I can get it with just by looking and obviously by touch. Um, something to point here or something to note rather um, when you are rubbing your thumb across you want to be rubbing it this way you don't want to be moving your thumb left to right if you move it left to right you will cut yourself especially if you've just sharpened this and this should be razor sharp so you want to be very cautious when you do this so like I say always across very gently very gently and very slowly um, you should never be doing it this way because you will cut yourself so the next thing I do to make sure I'm happy I'll actually get the plane and I will take a shaving on this side which will be the left side and this side which is the right side so what that's going to do that's going to show us if there's any discrepancies so if I have quite a large shaving off one side and not the other side I know I need to adjust the blade, the blade laterally so so that's a bit too much so I'm gonna pull the blade back so those are quite fine shavings so I think maybe this side of the blade is just a tad too much so so what I'm gonna do he has, a, he has a lateral adjustment I'm just going to push it towards this way this is the side that's a bit too much and I'm going to try it again so that's that's reduced it so what's it like this side so may, maybe this side's a little, just a little tad too much so I'm going to push it back this way so that doesn't feel too bad now so now I'm going to go for one in the center so I'm going to reduce the blade pull the blade back take the slack up and there we are so, so I'm, I'm quite uh, I'm quite happy with that. That seems like it's it's set well. And this is this is how I set this up. Set me number four up. I set me number five up like this. Any sort of beardy platinum plane, I will set up like this. Um, I've been doing this for a long time. Um, it is actually a lot quicker than what this video is to be honest well yeah, that's how i do it um let us know what you think let us know how you do it uh, let us know what videos you want in the future uh, thanks for watching